Thank you for joining me. This is Tyler with Phoenix Custom Systems. Today I'm going to show you how to add people to your access control and add groups and a few other things. So first thing we got to do is open up the NBMS V3. Once you open up the V3, you're going to hit those four little corners in the top left. That's going to bring you to all your apps. And the three we're going to focus on right now are person, access control, and monitoring. So first thing we want to do is go in and we want to add a person. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up here and it's either going to be under residence or staff. So we'll do it under staff. We'll hit add. Oh, we'll hit add over here. I'm sorry. This will add uh, multiple uh, different things. So if you had a staff, you had residents um, and so on. So if you had a larger organization and you had uh, people that had different access to doors um, and a larger uh, building, um, you, you could put all that right here so we can have um, uh, different ones for, the, for that pe for those people. So right now we're just going to do staff. We're going to hit add and then we're person ID. That's just going down in numerical order. We're just going to call this person test. You can add their email, um, their phone number, effective date, any comments. You can add their card. If we are doing fingerprint, you could do that. Um, you also have access control. So um, you have these different things that you can do in here. We don't have to worry about pin code, uh, extended door time opened. If uh, it was an elderly person and they needed more time to get in through the door. Um, you also have add to blacklist. What that means is um, this, this system here uh, in this example is for a pool gate. So if uh, someone didn't pay their dues and you want to lock them out of the pool or any other things that they might have access to if they don't pay uh, on time, you can add them to the blacklist and then they will not be able to have access um, uh, to any doors that have the access control. Um, you also have resident information and additional information. Um, so to add a card, all we do is we hit add card and you have two options here. So in card number, um, we can hit read. You go to the reader, you add in a card It'll show you that card number up there, and then you hit add. The other option is you can add in a four digit code. So let's just call this 15555. Then you hit add. So you can also, you can have a pen with a card, multiple cards, um, multiple numbers, however you want to do it. Um, after that, we'll hit add. Now we're going to come back up to the four squares at the top left. And then we're going to go to access control. Once we're in access control, we'll go to templates. So you have two different templates. You have a, your basic template here. And then again, you'd hit add and then you'd name your template and then you give access. Any parts in blue um, are when they actually have access. The clear times, they do not have access. So you can go in here and you can set up your individual times that you want them to have access. Let's say you wanted to copy this one right here for the whole week. You just hit that. You can hit copy to week. It uh, copies whatever you had that time for the rest of the week, or you can do individual times and you can also come over here and you can add different periods that you want to. So you can really get, you know, down to the minute or hour that you want them to uh, have access. Also, if you click on this, you can uh, get exactly. So you just hover over the period that you want it and then you can uh, go up and down with the minutes or the hours and then hit okay. Then you hit save. We're going to cancel that for now. We're just going to use the residents and staff. I already have those set up. Um, you also have your holiday hours. So this is pool closed. So the pool closes from September 17th to May 31st. I don't have any blue in here because I don't want them to have access anytime during this time because the pool is closed. So we'll go ahead and clear that. Um, and then you come down here again and hit save. Um, now, if we go to authorization, we have authorization group. With authorization group, um, again, we'll hit add. We'll name this one test one. Um, and then we come here and we say this is the staff for the template. Um, we come down here and we pick one of our people that we, we have down here. Oh, no, let's do test. You can pick multiple if you want. And then you tell them which doors they have access to. And then you'll hit save. Now it says to be applied right here. So that means that those changes have not been made yet. So what I have to do is hit 
this little checkbox, and then apply changes to device. We'll hit that. It's going to go through its progressions of saving, applied, all applied. We're good to go. So we'll close that out. And so we already have the number set up for the person. We've set up the templates. We set up the authorization group. Um, so if we go over here to monitoring, we'll be able to see up here. I'm going to go ahead into the number tablet. I'm going to hit 5555 five, five, five pound. That's going to allow me access. It also takes a snapshot if you have a camera system um, linked to it. It's going to give you a snapshot of exactly when they use that card so you can see who's using that card. If you want to go to live view while you're, if you have this open up on your computer during the day while it's being active, you can go to live view and it'll link you right to that camera. So for each door, you could have a camera at that door and you'll be able to see each time that they use the system. So that is it for adding users um, and setting up the different parameters for your authorization and your template. I'll have other videos on how to get more in depth into the other features that we have. Um, but for right now, uh, I think uh, you'll, you'll be good to go and adding as many people as you need to. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave a comment uh, below and I will do my best to respond to you. Have a good day.